Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Monday morning. It is the last day of August, and what a hot and humid August it has been. So I have a lot of interesting things to tell you about. First of all, today we have a cluster of storms that we'll be tracking that will be moving southeastward in the state, and uh, a couple of the storms could be strong, possibly severe. I have the latest from the Storm Prediction Center, and I'll show you future radar. But later in the week, there is a frontal system that may make it all the way through the state. That's very rare in summertime, and it may deliver somewhat lower humidity by the Labor Day weekend, how great would that be? Plus, things are very busy in the tropics. We're tracking four systems right now. But the most incredible thing that I want to tell you about is something that could happen about 10 days from now. Boy, oh boy, this would be nice. The global models continue to hint that there will be an important cool front that moves through uh, our state and much of the uh, nation all the way to the East Coast by about the middle of next week, roughly 10 days now, with lower humidity and lower temperatures, including some very comfortable nights. Wouldn't that be great? We'll continue to keep an eye on it for you. Even the GFS is showing a big temperature drop around 10 or 11 days away with some nights uh, that could be in the 50s. That would be great. Again, don't take that to the bank yet, but it looks pretty good. We'll see a cluster of storms entering our state today and moving through North Alabama first with maybe some strong to severe storms there. And then the um, cluster seems to fall apart in central Alabama towards 8 p.m. tonight. In the meantime, even out ahead of that main cluster, there'll be some scattered showers and thunderstorms roaming around. So we'll put uh, scattered storms in the forecast for today. While the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal severe weather risk for our friends in North Alabama, uh, not quite down to the Montgomery area, but you can see that there could be a few warnings with that cluster of storms that I showed you. Scattered storms in our forecast today. High temperature up to about 92. Uh, maybe a couple of stronger storms towards this evening. Uh, tonight's low 76. Tomorrow, not as many storms. I'll take the rain chances down a notch on Tuesday and down another notch on Wednesday. Only widely scattered storms, isolated in nature by Wednesday and Thursday. And by the way, on Thursday, we see a frontal system up to the north. See that north of, uh, north of uh, Memphis, let's say, moving southward? This is a frontal system that could bring in somewhat nicer air for the weekend. We hope so. Maybe some scattered showers and thunderstorms out ahead of it Friday. And could there be some lower humidity on Saturday? This is Labor Day weekend. How about that? Uh, instead of the 70s for the dew points, how about 60s and maybe even some 50s up in North Alabama? We would love that. So I've got the rain chances around 40% tomorrow. You could, you could argue 40 to 50%. Much smaller rain chances Wednesday, Thursday. Right now I'll put in a 30% chance of storms on Friday. And I may take rain out of the forecast for Saturday if that uh, forecast continues to pan out the way we like it. There are two invests that we need to look at. One off the U.S. East Coast would be going into the Atlantic. Uh, that could be a depression or a storm. And invest 99L in the Caribbean could become a tropical depression or tropical storm as it head to towards the Yucatan. We hope that system stays at a lower latitude, and it looks like it may, and go into Central America. But we'll have to watch and see if it evolves into the Gulf of Mexico, all right? So we'll be watching 99L with great interest. And meanwhile, the Hurricane Center continues to monitor two other systems way out there in the tropical Atlantic off the coast of Africa. So things are uh, very busy in the tropics. Remember, this, the statistical peak of the season is around September 10th. All right, so that's a lot of stuff, and some of it very, very good, some of it very encouraging. We'll keep an eye on the tropics as well. Live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. Live on TV, we'll be on CBS 8 and ABC 32. Ryan Stinnett and I will be talking weather. Another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. And your forecast, whenever you want it, across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations. That's it. I'll see you later.